Speak of the devil, guys. We need one of those right now. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to we'll go back to another video. Um, and uh, I'm actually wearing the same shirt as yesterday. And uh, you guys are probably asking me, why are you exposing yourself like that? Uh, the reason is I kind of wanted to rock the same shirt because I took a shower and I felt like I didn't use this shirt enough. And it's my favorite shirt, so I wanted to reuse it. Um, it's typically the shirt I wear out whenever I'm not working on cars. So you guys are probably like, oh, so you're not gonna work on cars today. No, no, that's not what's going on here, but let me explain what's going on here. So yesterday, I picked out the JV4 and I was gonna install it into the 135, but I was like, you know what, let me take you, out for, let me take you guys out for a spin real quick, show you guys how the car feels pretty much without a tune, but with a charge pipe and an intake, and uh, show you guys pretty much how I feel the speed is. Is that very quick very responsive I love this car and how it feels especially for like the power to weight ratio so it's perfect so I took it out for a spin and everything and as I was pulling up on my driveway the car starts bogging like there's no tomorrow I don't know what was going on so I brought it inside the garage and I was like ah uh, no 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 like this isn't the time for it I, I don't really want to deal with it right now I want to install the JB4 but as you guys know, never install mods when you have problems with your car. So I thought I had all the maintenance out of the way, but clearly I didn't. That's the N54 life. I usually use Carly for stuff like this, but my Carly's actually at the shop. So yesterday after 6 p.m., I pretty much just called it a day. It really sucked. I had nothing to do, and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna have to skip out a video today. But last night, I did get an email from a company that said that we sent you out a scan tool, and uh, guys, if I can't be any coincidental, I didn't need a scan tool. I have Carly, and uh, you know, I've been using that for the longest time, but Carly's not here today, and I think this is probably the fanciest tool I've ever seen in my life. Drunk. I've never seen you clearer than now. We're flying high, floating somewhere up in the clouds. We're going out of ourselves. Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real. So shout out to Launch for basically sending out this code reader. I'm just gonna go ahead and just name out some specifics that they have with this product. First things first, you're gonna wanna crack this sucker open and um, check that out, guys. This is probably the most fanciest thing I've ever seen. Like, look at how this is laid out. Like, you actually have a code reader that, like, dang, it's so beautiful. You guys saw the cinematic. This thing's absolutely gorgeous. Up here, pretty much, is the area for all the cables and stuff. Look at these. Like, they're not even the cheap-ass ones. Like, they stay up. I love that. That looks so cool. You can actually store some more things that are car-related. Maybe some tools and have this in your car. It's really cool. Um, and it just looks so presentable. I'm a huge box nerd, so that's awesome. Love the packaging, love the case. And we're gonna go ahead and use this code reader since I don't have Carly here today and I don't have the JB4 hooked up yet, so I'm not able to use the JB4 to tell me what's wrong with the car. So this is literally perfect timing for a new scan tool on the channel. I was also super excited about this, uh, mainly because I have had a lot of scan tools before that work for all cars, but this one can literally do everything. It can print out reports, it can connect to your Wi Fi, you can gain information from the internet it's a full system scanner and health scanner so it works on my dad's mercedes my dad's always has these like service intervals like bmws but I'm, I'm i can't do anything with them because i don't have a scan tool for these cars but this car will be able to take care of it, reset the brake light oil light all that good stuff from my dad's cars it has over 16 special functions like i said prince data has a battery voltage tester to tell if your battery is good or bad four in one live data graphs which you could print out which is super sick covers 98 percent of vehicle makes so pretty much almost every single car i don't think like every single car in California or in the United States, I'm pretty sure it covers. And it's Wi Fi updated and has a warranty of over five years. So you're pretty much set. Like, that thing doesn't just look cool, but you are backed up for five years. That is pretty sick. The quality feels amazing. I already took out of the case. Literally, when I got at the front door, I was like, there's no way they already sent me an email saying they're going to send me out a scanner and I need a scanner. And I literally opened the door and I was like, is this. Is this destiny? I, I don't know. I really don't know. And I'm heavily promoting this. They're actually not even paying me to promote this. But it's just the fact that they, they the, the timing is just so perfect. My car took a shit. Carly's at the shop. I don't even have the JB4 hooked up, so I can't use the JB4 diagnostic. So I need something to help me diagnose my car. And, uh, you know, I don't want to drive it down to AutoZone and plug it in and, uh, you know, drive it back. I don't want to mess up the car. Yesterday, uh, you guys will see that I'll be throwing in that footage. Um, I think I'll be throwing that footage right now. I thought it was my spark plugs. So I went ahead and just pretty much installed some new spark plugs. So here's me tomorrow. I'll see you guys tomorrow, basically. Actually, yesterday. Oh, I don't even know how to explain that. So this is me yesterday trying to fix 
my 135. All right, guys. Our parents are home, so I had to bring in their car. I had to bring in their car, but um. All right. So it looks like before we have some fun, we have to play some spark plugs, and this is why the burger tuning cowl filters are a huge help. Check this out. I don't have to remove anything. I can literally just remove this guy and over. Pull that towards me. Bam. I can access all the ignition coils, all the spark plugs. All right. Let's get the job done real quick. So just to show you guys uh, the kit that we went with here. So we got the kit right here. NGK spark plugs, premium spark plugs. These are literally, I think, one of the best spark plugs you guys can get for your cars. Burger Tony has it on their site. And what's super cool about it, you can get the full kit where it has the, the gapping tool, which is actually really important to make sure your spark plugs are getting the proper connection. And here is the spark plug remover tool um, that has also a magnet in there that makes it so much easier to get the spark plugs out you don't have to fish in there and try to grab it or break it this has a magnet in it so that's really nice so anywho uh i guess at this point let's go ahead and pull out all our ignition coils and uh, replace all the spark plugs ignition coils are brand new so i'm really hoping it's the spark plugs boys all right guys i just want to say did you guys see how easy that was to remove all the ignition coils i have them all down right here it was so easy. I didn't have to remove anything. It's easy to access, and that's what I really like about these cowl filters. I will have them linked down below, guys. It's just insane how convenient those things make your life, and uh, I'm just super happy. I don't have to take out so many things. Like, when I knew it was misfiring, I'm like, okay, I just go in here, remove the ignition coils, remove the spark plugs, no big deal. So, now they have all the ignition coils out, I have my, uh, my ratchet right here. Let's go ahead and just use the spark plug tool, just like that. Come on, there we go. Let's get these spark plugs out. All right, guys, so I went ahead and removed all the spark plugs, and there is oil on quite a few of them. I don't know what that means exactly. I'm going to go ahead and do some research, but uh, these were barely tightened, all of them. So I'm going to have to call out Jonathan for that, my dude. I don't know why they weren't even tightened. Like, they literally, I was able to twist it out with my fingers. I really didn't even need a ratchet. So they weren't even tightened. Maybe that's an issue, and that's why it leaked out. Maybe. I'm not too sure. Then again, should these even be around oil? I have no idea. I'm not like the biggest mechanic in the world. So I'm going to go ahead and look that up and figure that out real quick before I throw in the NGKs. But I don't know if you guys can see in there, there's some oil piled up just on the edge. Nothing too crazy but there is oil on every single cylinder so ah uh, man i don't know if it's a valve cover i do have paperwork saying the valve cover has been done but i don't know i don't know all right guys so i just got back i went inside did a little bit of research and uh it's a valve cover issue so um it doesn't look like there's too much oil in there and the spark plugs are not even tightened that much the spark plug misfire could be because it wasn't even tightened so i definitely think if i tighten it up i should be able to re reuse the original ones the reason i'm saying that is these are not the cheapest spark plugs and they're amazing spark plugs so i don't want to just waste them and mess them up because i decided you know what I, I i need to drive this car today maintenance maintenance hits you it's the only thing i didn't do mainly because you guys might be asking why didn't you think about doing the valve cover let me show you guys here are the two receipts from the previous owner it has a credit card and everything on it so i'm not going to be showing that on this one it says they replaced the oil filter housing gasket right here it's 85 dollars and they replaced the actual housing itself for 361 dollars all in all, with labor, $788. This was done at 138,000 miles ago. Less than 6,000 miles ago, this was done. Okay, now, that's not our main issue. This is our other issue. Replace the valve cover gasket. They replaced the gasket and whatever else with it. Labor and everything, $562. Poor woman paid that much less than 8,000 miles ago and it's already leaking oil. That's why I just don't trust mechanics. The paperwork's right here. One th just in case you guys aren't believing me, 2010 BMW 135i, that's the mileage, and you guys know the mileage on my car is 143 roughly, I think, or 144. Legit, I called up Jonathan, I was like, didn't you tell me the valve cover was replaced? Because uh, you told me, bro. And he's like, yeah, dude, it's been replaced. And I'm like, yeah, paperwork? He's like, yeah, the paperwork's on there. The previous owner replaced it. And I was like, I'm not getting upset with Jonathan. Jonathan gave me such a good deal on the car that I can't be upset with him, but I'm just like, wow, like, the, like, the previous owner really got screwed over. So at this point, guys, I'm gonna head down to Walmart, pick up some rags, some uh, some like shop rags. I don't wanna use regular napkins and put them in there, then the fibers or or like whatever, the tissue actually starts spreading all over in there and the spark plug in becomes a mess and you know things go into the actual cylinder. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some actual shop rags. I'm also gonna head down to the gas station and put a little bit of gas in a bucket and soak those spark plugs overnight. I'm gonna go ahead and put those spark plugs in a bucket with some gasoline, let it soak for like probably like two or three hours, 
come back out and hope to God, you know, I, I, that makes a difference to the point where at least I can reuse those spark plugs until I get a new valve cover. It really sucks that I have to do this. I was really excited that I really wanted to, you know, that that was the last piece of maintenance, which was I did. We even did the oil pan gasket, which is the hardest gasket to do on this car other than the rare, rare mean main seal. That's when you remove the transmission. But actually, I think that's even easier. Anywho, you know, things happen in life. So you guys might be asking me, Nora, you know, like it just happens. It just happens. So uh, unfortunately, we cannot take out the 135. Luckily, it's in the garage right now it didn't fail on me on the side of the road so let's head out pick up uh, some gasoline I need some garbage bags personally and some rags oh man we have all this out of the car it sucks it is what it is yes yeah, it's always the same <laughs> especially if you own a BMW and you're trying to modify it like me um, expect problems. I mean, that is the absolute last piece of maintenance that I didn't personally do myself, nor Jonathan. So if we do that, we should be set for some major power gains. And, uh, you know, at least until the, the fuel injectors go out and then, and then the turbos and then and maybe the transmission. Um, that's the life I chose. One shot, two, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get that. Let me get my stuff together and let's head down to Walmart. Run. Run. All right, buddies. We can make it. Oh, okay. We got it. All right. Let's head, ooh, damn, she's looking fine. Beautiful, my God. All right, let's head out and get everything. Damn, guys, that thing looks insane. It's just chilling. We got everything we need. All right, let's head and get some gas now. All right, guys, I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm here at Costco. I was about to get some gas to dip the spark plugs into. Oh, man, I need to lower down my music before I get copyrighted. Uh, but basically, uh, I... Oh, I forgot I have a lip on this car. I was like, oh, I'm gonna scrape over the speed bump. Anywho, it's not too much oil in the cylinder. I feel like if I order a valve cover, I clean out the oil, I put the new spark plugs in, and I get the valve cover done ASAP, then no harm, no foul, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna be placing an order on a valve cover tonight. So that being said, Let's just go home and install the new plug. Well, we gotta clean out those cylinders first. We want no oil in there. All right, we just made it home, boys. All right, let's get to work on that 135. We just made it back home. I have the towels. Let's go ahead and just clean up all those the spark plug holes. It's really not that bad. It has maybe like this much oil in each single one, like right around the border. It's not like too much. So that's a good thing. I'm just gonna go ahead and just clean them all out and uh, just install the new spark plugs. And in about a week, I'm gonna go ahead and replace the whole valve cover. Not just the gasket, the whole valve cover itself. Because again, I intend on making some pretty massive power gain so I don't want to have any more issues in terms of leaks and in terms of leaving me on the side of the road. I want to make sure this thing's 100% good to go. I believe also the turbos have been rebuilt so that's why there's no wastegate waste get rattle on this car. So I really want to make sure that maintenance is on top on this car specifically because again pushing some high power I don't want to mess up the motor. I'd rather do all the maintenance and pay a grand out of pocket today than pay four grand later to do a motor swap, new turbos and a whole bunch of stuff. So anywho let me get set you guys down. Let's clean out all the spark plug holes. <laughs> Guys, I pretty much just cleaned out the inners. Uh, there's not much oil whatsoever. Uh, that's just like dried up oil you guys see there. But right in here, do you guys see that? Like how is, how did that oil get there? Did they literally drop it because of this? Is that what happened? Because if that's the case, that's probably why there's so much oil above the spark plug holes, but not actually inside the spark plug holes. Maybe that's why. I'm gonna go ahead and just clean that out real quick. All right, guys, so uh, we're just not even gonna reuse these. We're just gonna move them out of the way. Uh, these are the NGK spark plugs. So basically, what we're gonna have to do here is we're actually gonna have to gap every single one of these. And Burger Tuning is the only company that actually makes a gapping tool, which is super nice. Oh, there's actually a little washer here for, that's really nice. I think that also prevents oil from going in the cylinder. So that's perfect. So here's the actual gapping uh, measurement tool. I and mean, then this is the actual tool we're gonna have to need, we're, we're gonna need to use. This stuff is only from Burger Tuning, guys. So if you guys need to cop this stuff, make sure to check out that link down below. The measurements we're gonna be using is uh, 0.022, I know, 0.020. We're gonna be needing the third one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put the rest of them away. We're not gonna need anyone else. 
0.020. That's the one that we're gonna end up using. So how this works is that this little thing right here, 0 0.020 needs to go in here with no play at all. So there's just a little bit of play, not too much. Uh, but to prevent that play completely, we need to bend this downwards. And how to do that exactly, we're gonna go ahead and just screw it into here. You don't need to screw it in all the way, just enough to where it shows, as you can see like right here. And then we're gonna use this side to pretty much go down on it and just bend it down very little bit. Now that I've bent it down just a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and just use this. Oh, that's almost perfect. I'm just gonna bend it down just a little bit more. All right, that is as snug as it could be. So yeah, okay, that one's perfect. So we are good to go on this one. Now I just have to do it to the rest of them. Pretty much new spark plugs gapped. I cleaned out the spark plug holes, put the spark plugs, put the ignition coils, made sure everything is perfect. So honestly, I think we should be ready to go. I don't think we should have any misfires. I hope for this thing doesn't misfire, that'd be great. Oh, wow, actually the car feels so much smoother than it was. I guess it was misfiring all along or something. All right, I'm gonna back out of the garage and hope to God it doesn't misfire, but uh, so far so good. Woo. Guys, this is still misfiring like crazy. Huh. I think one of these ignition coils has already gone bad. You guys see my hand shaking? That's legit the car. That's that's insane. Oh my god. Damn it, guys. Damn, it sucks. I'm gonna go ahead and test out the ignition coils real quick. Okay, now we're back. Uh, so yeah, we are at the end of the video right now, and uh, we have the scan tool. Let's go ahead and figure out I replaced all the spark plugs with the NGK spark plugs, gapped them and everything, and uh, it's still misfiring in the exact same cylinder, so I moved over the ignition coils. I did that actually off camera um, last night because I was running out of ideas and I was like really, I was really bummed out that I couldn't really film a video. So I actually moved them around and they didn't do anything. It was still misfiring at cylinder three, four, and six. And it has some other fuel related issues and it was still misfiring. It felt like the exact same misfire when I moved the ignition coils. Um, so I, I don't feel like anything changed, but I guess I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the scanner now and just see what codes is the car throwing. Let's hope to God we get something pretty useful. Okay, see if it uh, runs, yep, it's running the VIN again. Not the car's an accessory, I think it will tell it the VIN number. Bam, 2010 BMW 135, that's pretty sick. It's kind of like a game right here. Cool, so we are good to go on that. I guess it's already running the codes, guys. I didn't even, okay, I, I guess it's just gonna do its thing, automatically searching. Uh, so, okay, all right, what's going on here? So, um, inspection organization, ch -ch 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 -ch, VIN number, model, all that stuff. Engine control module, abnormal, DME. Okay, what's going on? So this is the history, guys. Uh, so apparently, oxygen sensor two, oxygen sensor two, misfiring several cylinders. Oh dear, are we having a cat? Is, is our cat sensors bad? Hold up. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see if I can, can I clear this. How does this work? Uh, so let's go ahead and go back here. Uh, clear codes. Bada bing, bada bang. Okay, it's clearing codes. So let's go ahead and start up the car and show you guys what's actually happening with the car. This is what happened when I got back yesterday. So I start up the car, everything seems to be fine, right? And then give it a second, you guys can see it's idling kinda high. That's not normal, it shouldn't be idling that high. Give it some more time and the whole car is gonna start shaking. I'm literally expecting it to throw a service engine light at this point. It is idling like, I mean, it's idling fine, but it's vibrating like crazy. Please throw a service engine light, I want a light. I wanna know the problem with my car, please. This is literally torture, guys, come on. Come on, BMW, at least do me a favor and tell me what's wrong with you because I just want to help you. That's all I want to do. <laughs> oh, dear heaven. All right, guys, I, we got a service engine light. It smells like gasoline, to be honest. This is what I'm getting right now. Oh, my God. I just cleared the codes, guys. If any of you guys have owned an N54 and know what these codes mean, please help me. I have no idea. 
this is pretty crazy. All right, so that, that pretty much concludes the video, unfortunately, guys. So we did a little short diagnostic. Uh, we stopped out all the spark plugs. Shout out to Burger Tuning for those amazing spark plugs. Um, but now that that's set, we still have another issue, unfortunately. And uh, unfortunately, it wasn't the spark plugs. It was something else. So we will have to figure that out probably in the near future. If you guys can let me know down in the comments, help a brother out. So hopefully in the next video, we can get this thing up and running and ready for the JV4 and ready for all the boltons and ready for some massive power. Because I even have... The new, f I even have the upgraded fuel pump. I just haven't installed any of that yet because this thing had to happen to me. So help me out, guys. Please let me know down below if you guys know what the issue is. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Support your man. Remember to stay on board. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.